betting on it just right here on TV. Let's talk about sports betting. Uh, the bettors have already decided who they believe is favored uh, to win the Super Bowl, the whole thing. And Marley is here with a little part of that story. And the feelings about it are pretty strong, actually, Adrian. You know, we Passionate. still have two more games to be played before the Super Bowl on February 13th. But the bets are in, and the Kansas City Chiefs are the favorite. Bettors on DraftKings think the Chiefs will take it all this year, and the Bengals are the long shot with a payout that is six times what you would win betting on the Chiefs. Whoa. Sunday, we have the games that determine who will go to the big game. So let's take a look at those. For the AFC Championship, we, of course, have the Bengals versus the Chiefs. Chiefs are the favorite here by seven points. So if you're just betting your team on the Bengals, if you bet $100, you win $280. But because the Chiefs are the favorite, you have to bet $365 to win $100 here. As we move on to the NFC Championship game, that's the Niners versus the Rams. Rams are the favorite, but by less, by three and a half points here. 49ers, you have to bet $100 to win $155. The Rams, you have to bet $180 to get $100 back. And with the advent of legalized sports betting across the country, you now have a lot more options to bet on than just who's going to win. They're called prop bets, and they can be anything from who will win the coin toss to who might score first. If Odell Beckham Jr. is your favorite player, you can bet if he'll score a touchdown. A $100 bet wins you 150 if he makes it in the end zone. If Patrick Mahomes is your guy, you can bet how many rushing yards he'll have. The bet right now is if he'll have more or less than 30 and a half. This is a really popular bet right now because he had 69 Whoa. rushing yards against the Bills. And it's expected the Super Bowl betting this year, Adrian, will smash records because 36 million more American adults now have the opportunity to place legal bets in their home state. Last year, 7% of the U.S. population placed a bet on the game. Can you believe that? Adrian? I thought it was going to be higher. Seriously, yes, I did. 7%. Oh, I'm surprised it's not like 20%. For some reason, it seems like it's just gained this momentum. And I know that it's expected to grow and just blow. Again, you mentioned all the numbers out of the water. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.